origination of the secret societies is not what's happened to them at all. They were infiltrated. The origination of the secret societies were to preserve the sacred wisdom by these mystics and masters that would keep coming here and keep providing these enlightened teachings to humanity. It was to preserve them. But like most things here in the lower frequencies, it, it gets, it gets uh, co-opted. It gets infiltrated, it gets inverted and perverted, and then used against the actual collective conscious when the whole point was to give the collective consciousness these teachings. We're kind of in a different age where there's not necessarily a need for this secrecy behind the knowledge that's being presented. I'd like to get a perspective because I, I get people that say, oh, you, you need to go to the mystery schools to get this information. And, and my point is, no, you don't. This We're, we're in an age where um, a lot of this information is openly available and it, we can access it differently. There's not necessarily this need to go through that process. What is your perspective on that? And you're absolutely right. Now, I can I can give a, a metaphysical explanation uh, as to uh, as to what, what we're talking about. <clears throat> Let me go back to Paramahansa Yogananda, OK, who could have taught anything, mm -hmm. could have taught anything. OK, so he taught Kriya Yoga because the base frequencies of humanity were lower at that time than they are now. What does that mean? So he had to teach Kriya Yoga because for, for human beings to reach some sort of level of meditation, they had to go through the body because the frequencies are so low and they're so identified with their form and their physicality. So that's why he taught Kriya Yoga. Okay, the base frequencies of humanity are much higher. I can come here and teach instantaneous meditation and self-healing like I do because the base frequencies are higher. Now, because the base frequencies are higher, that means the, the general education of the human mind is higher, so it can work with these teachings in a more open way. It was preserved before because the base frequencies were so low, there were so few human beings that were going to be able to work with themselves properly by tapping into these true the, the true esoteric wisdom. And by the way, 95% of all the esoteric wisdom that's that's permeated this earth are from two different beings, Master R and Buddha. They are the providers of almost all the esoteric, and they're different incarnations. They are essentially the providers, and I can explain why that is. We are in a, our base frequencies are higher. More human beings can work with themselves in a very advanced way. So therefore the information is being made more readily available as opposed to it being hidden or in the secret societies and the origination of the secret societies is not what's happened to them at all. They were infiltrated. The origination of the secret societies were to preserve the sacred wisdom by these mystics and masters that would keep coming here and keep providing these enlightened teachings to humanity. It was to preserve them. But like most things here in the lower frequencies, it, it gets, it gets uh, co-opted. It gets infiltrated, it gets inverted and perverted, and then used against the actual collective conscious when the whole point was to give the collective consciousness these teachings. So we're going to keep having a proliferation of these of these advanced, enlightened, of these self-mastery teachings, because the base frequencies are higher and more human beings will be able to work with them. All they have to do is have it available. And that's why I said what you're doing by putting things on there by Neville Goddard, by putting things on there... Uh, the I am discourses by, by having RJ on your show. You're, excuse me, you're doing exactly that. You're making it readily available for humanity. And, and that's the key. Is there is there information that we haven't really publicly accessed or discussed that, that I can present to my channel that we're ready for, that maybe we haven't <clears throat> really, that, that it has not reached the form of collective consciousness yet? The, yes. <laughs> There are there are more teachings. There are absolutely more teachings. <clears throat> and I, I give my word, I'll do my best to make sure that they're all here by the time I leave my body without question. I think the bigger, what's more important than more teachings is the mastery of the ones that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I really feel that there's an there's an there's almost enough here already that would allow humanity to liberate itself once and for all. I really feel that way. Mm -hmm. Are there more teachings? Yes, there are, there are more teachings. But if we can master the ones that are here, if we can master the ones that are already here, mastery, I'll give an example. So <clears throat> the first book, Supercharged self Healing, the Ascend the Frequencies Healing Technique. Okay. Now, the originator, the true originator of Reiki 
is an incarnation of Master R, which we call Saint Germain, but the Saint Germain or the higher self that projects pieces of itself is known as Master R. Saint Germain is an incarnation of Master R. Master R is the true uh, downloader of the Reiki symbols, the true downloader of the Reiki symbols. Now, if we if we look at and and Reiki itself, and there were 432 Reiki symbols originally. Uh, they got abused, so they kind of fell out of the collective consciousness. So if, if we look at the Ascend the Frequencies healing technique, the healing technique I used to unparalyze myself from the chest down and overcome life-threatening conditions and all this kind of stuff, and that's how thousands and thousands and thousands of people, you could think of it as a continuation of Reiki. Mm -hmm. You could absolutely think of it as a more, and it is more advanced. It's absolutely more advanced. A more advanced and holistic system or modality of healing that was built upon energy and energy healing, such as Reiki. So in this incarnation, it's ascend the frequency healing technique. We've built upon the foundation of things that was already there. If we can master what's already here, right? The mind, the finite mind that's bankrupt, that always wants more and more, the ego mind identity, that always wants more and more information, Brian. Even when it has gold, it's still looking for silver or platinum. Even when it's got the gold, it's good. looking for something else. It's just what it does, right? It's mm -hmm. just what it does. It's okay. So if we can start to master the teachings that are here now, that compulsion to reach for something more or something else will stop. Just the teachings in the first two book, the first two books, Supercharged self Feeling and Change Your Mind will liberate anyone, will absolutely liberate mm -hmm. anyone. It We must be diligent. We must dedicate ourselves to these, to these things and let me just add one more thing about, and there are more teachings that are coming that are, that are not currently being bandied about, so to speak. I want to say something about advanced teachings, truly enlightened teachings, <clears throat> how effective they are. But more importantly is that this takes discipline. This takes absolute discipline. Part of the spiritual, from my perspective, mm -hmm. part of the spiritual community is that it should be effortless. There's, it should just happen right away and it should be, effort. okay, this is insane. That's never going to happen in the third frequency. Let me, let me say that again. That's never going to happen in the third frequency. That happens in the higher frequencies. That happens in that. It's not going to happen that way here. It's, this is where you learn about determination and will. This is how you learn about determination and will. You must apply it, apply it, apply it. You must be diligent. You must be voracious. You must not stop. That's really the key. And I feel that that's really missing from all teachings about, oh, it's just like this. It's just, no, it isn't. No, it is not. And anyone who's telling you it's just like this, they have no idea what they're talking about. Unparalyzing yourself and doing all these kind of things takes a level of determination and will that will force the evolution of your consciousness because you have to keep applying it over and over perpetually. It forces your graduation. Anything that happens like that, there's very little, there's very little self-gnosis or self-awareness in a process that happens like that. Now, anyone who's wanting things to be instantaneous like that, don't worry. The fifth frequency is where everything happens like this, not the fourth. The mm -hmm. fifth frequency is you snap your fingers and it kind of just happens. It's never going to happen that way in the third frequency. Why? It's not designed to. It's not designed to. The teachings are already here for authentic liberation, authentic self-mastery, authentic self-healing, liberation from the finite conditioned, conditioned mind. They're here now. If we can master them, master what's already here, we'll be so far ahead of, of wanting more teachings We'll realize we don't even need more teachings. We have everything that we need right now.